Louisiana returning to their roots. Now, we don't know which Ten Commandments they're intending to post because I don't know if people realize this. The Ten Commandments, the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, they all have different versions. I think the they I think that they did have a specific version that they're Well, I, I'm publishing. shocked to hear that. Yeah, Go ahead. yeah. Critters, and yet the Ten Commandments is something bad to put in schools. Uh, it just, it's amazing to so, me, it really so, is. So I have so much to get to here, but so for those listening right now, they're wondering, <laughs> what's the goal? Because it's not as if this is going to be taught in every school and classroom. This is just being displayed on the walls. So my question to you is, how is this going to improve the school environment and the performance of kids in those schools? When, Governor, I pull up the, the report cards of these public schools, and Louisiana is struggling. I mean, it is at the bottom of the country. The education system is failing these kids. I mean, Louisiana is 43, 44th in math and reading. So is this going to help what is a very big problem in Louisiana? Look, I think it's part and parcel for helping uh, kids um anywhere uh, around the country if other states followed our suits. But at the same time that we signed uh, that bill into law, we signed a string of others. I signed 20 mm -hmm. bills, including this one, uh, to reform Louisiana schools. Look, 20 years ago, the state of Florida had the same statistics that you just rattled off um, that Louisiana now has. They went through a number of uh, educational reforms. We took up some of the things that many of those states like Florida have done, and we sign those into law. We just believe that displaying historical documents, especially something that is in, as, as important as the Ten Commandments. Look, when the Supreme Court meets, the doors of the Supreme Court on the backside have the Ten Commandments. Moses faces the U.S. Uh, Speaker of the House in the House chamber. He is the original giver of law. If we, most of our laws in this country uh, are founded on the Ten Commandments, what's the big problem, okay. Sandra? That's the part that I don't understand. Oh, I'm not, I, I'm just challenging you just to get your response. It's not my take on the situation, um, but you you know that no, there. I know. I just. Yeah. No. So, Governor, I want to. I, I want to make sure I get both sides in here because this is really. All right, so uh, the version that is being they pulled from was a uh, not one that came from the Bible, according to the Daily Coast write-up of this. It was one that they took from the 2006 Supreme Court case Van Orden v. Perry involving a monument on public land featuring text from the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Uh, and that was an organization started in 1898. Um, and originally, at one point, the qualifications for membership was that you had to be 21 years old. Okay, that Don't makes sense. Fair. Have good character. Okay. Okay. And uh, not be a communist and you've got to be white. So this is the historic ancient document that they're pulling from, the version that was originally published by the Fraternal Order of Eagles two years before the 1900s and the 20th century kicked off. If all of these historic documents need to be on display, I mean, I, the Communist Manifesto is older and that's a historic document. Should we put that on display? Sure. How about that? How about the Quran? That's <clears throat> even older than that. Certainly order than the fraternal, fraternal order of the eagles. It, it, I mean, uh, there, there's just like a, it's just the, the, the confluence of like the, the growing uh, sort of theocratic tendencies in this country are uh, pretty impressive. And as you know, Donald Trump loves the Bible. Yeah. And then we, we played one of the lawmakers uh, on Friday uh, getting into it with uh, Boris. Uh, I'm sorry. What's his last name? Epstein? Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez. Close, yeah. close. Not the guy that's uh, currently being indicted in Arizona um, on CNN. And she was just saying, well, you don't have to look at it. Just oh, don't yeah, look at it. <laughs> and I want to say, OK, we say the same thing for pride flags. You just don't have to look at it. Don't have to look at it. You don't have to look at our Vergonia flag. <laughs> Vergonia. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.